Hello and salutations, my name is John Johnson and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Yellow. As I was saying, uh, before we actually keep going, I should mention that uh, you may see a little bit of a difference between the levels of my Pokemon and the items I have and all that. The reason being, uh, there's actually a failed recording and I had to go back and replay through the entire first part of the game. Everything's still named the same, pre uh, pretty much everything is still the same, but uh, I just kind of had to... Yeah. Hey, look at that. Paula Dean grew to level 5. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I actually had to go back and basically re uh, replay through the entire game at this point, which wasn't a huge deal, to be honest with you. I mean, we're not that far. It only took about 30 minutes or so. Uh, but I tried to pretty much match everything as best I could, but the levels may be a little bit different. So if you're wondering about that, that is why. Everything's okay, though, because I think I pretty much figured out what the problem was, hopefully. I really hope so. I don't want to do this again. I have played through the first part of Pokemon Yellow like four times altogether in the last about three days. It's pretty bad. So hopefully I figured out what the problem was and you'll see this going up normally. Uh oh, Paula Dean may be in trouble. Let's uh, let's actually go ahead and switch out to uh, Potato. In the last episode, now that all that's out of the way, in the last episode we uh, we made our way through Viridian City, talked to a drunk old man, and finally uh, got to Viridian Forest. We started our way through a little bit, but then ended up having to kind of call the episode because it was getting on a little bit. Uh, well, actually, no, it wasn't. It seemed like it was, because I'm having to cut out random battles. Yay. Uh, but, in truth, I'm gonna try and work a little harder on, on timing this all, uh, all of this right. You ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with, you should carry extra. I do have extras, actually, although right now we're not gonna really need any Pokemon. Yay, trainer battle. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a little bit better about timing the length of the episodes, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it'll get better. Woohoo. Alright, who we got here? Buckcatcher wants to fight. I don't think we fought this one yet. I'm pretty sure we only went, uh... I'm pretty sure we didn't fight this one in the last episode. Uh, not 100%, because like I said, things are a little bit different. But I'm pretty sure we didn't fight him. We're gonna be making our way through Viridian Forest in this episode, all the way to Peter City. And then we'll, when, after we get to Peter City, we'll see what all we have left to do. It just kinda depends, because there's not a whole lot to do in Peter City, actually, besides, uh... Fighting good old Brocky Brock and his team there at the Peter City Gym. Which may be causing some problem. I know a lot of people are probably worried about how I'm going to handle that. Uh, off screen, somebody informed me that uh, in the last episode I was talking about how my, my strategy has always been to uh, get Paula Dean or Caterpie and evolve it all the way to Butterfree and more or less use Poison Powder or whatever to uh, basically help me out with Brock's on. That's the way I've always done it. Apparently, though, as I have been informed, uh, the best way to do it is actually to get Nidoran outside of Radiant Forest, so we're gonna be, uh, covering that. I don't know if we're gonna actually do it. I'm probably going to try to, uh, to use Butterfree as I usually do, usually do, just because that's the way I usually do things. Uh, but we'll cover out how to do that in case anybody's playing along and they want to know the easy way to do it. Which apparently that is the easy way. I was never aware of that. I, mean, I always knew that you could catch Nidoran, but, uh, I never did it myself just because I, I don't particularly like Nidoran that much, to be honest with you. And, as I've said before, I play this very casually, so... Not quite as statistic-inbound as most people are. Come on, Potato, you can do better than this. We've been in this trainer fight for like a minute and a half now, that is entirely too long. I could've cut this out. Uh, the way I'm actually gonna handle trainer fights is if, uh, I'm going to try and include most of them. Although, if we're on a particularly trainer-heavy route, like, uh, Route 3 or whatever that's coming up between Peter City and Mount Moon... I think that's Route 3. I have no idea if that's Route 3 or not. Probably not. Uh... I'm going to try and include ones that are deemed necessary, but maybe not so much the ones that you kind of that are kind of optional. You say you can't jam out if you're trying. Well, why, why are you trying to jam out, dude? You're a you're a bug catcher. You don't know how to jam. You're not a musician. Yay, Metapod. I guess really this is an optional fight right here to be perfectly honest. So I could cut this out, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it in. Why not? Ah, uh, who should we use? Twitch Potato? Let's use Twitch. Potato's been getting a little bit of screen time lately. I could use a potion to heal up Paula Dean. In fact, in fact I probably should have done that, because all Metapod can do is harden, but I don't particularly feel like watching a Metapod harden over and over again. That... The word harden is going to cause me some problems in this LP, isn't it? I can kind of tell. Oh, hey, look at that paralyzed them. Cool. Good job, Twitch. Twitch used paralyzed. Oh, I love the nicknames I have so far. There, uh, for all the other Pokemon I've picked out that I'm gonna get in this LP, I have to come up with good nicknames for them. Yay, Paula Dean grew level 6. Paula Dean's growing pretty fast. Bucketcher's about to use Caterpie. Yeah, 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 we'll switch back to Paula Dean and get some more experience with good old 
Paula Dean. <laughs> Paula Dean. Paula Dean. Paula Dean. Ah, uh, that's. A, I, I'm kind of glad that it's not a permanent member of the team because I feel like the Paula Dean joke, while hilarious, may actually end up kind of outstaying its welcome as eventually. We'll see. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it because I certainly have. Also, why am I still fighting the Paula Dean? I need to switch. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. We'll switch back to Twitch. Switch to Twitch. Go, Twitch! <laughs> Enemy Catapies, okay. Your string shot's not doing you any good, man. I mean, my speed fell, yeah, but I'm still a Pikachu, so I'm still way faster than you. I do know that much about stats. I know electric types tend to be very fast. I guess I do know a little bit about stats now I think about it. Not, not enough to really say I know anything, though, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Paula Dean gained some experience points. Yay! About to use Metapod. Okay, no, we're, we're not going to change Pokemon because we need to hurry up and get out of this. We've been spending way too much time in this trainer battle. Tra 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 trainer battle? Trainer battle. Trainer battle. Trainer battle. Words, John. Good lord. You got a major mouth fail there. Yeah. I don't know. Brock's going to be kind of a challenge. I am a little concerned about it, to be honest with you. And I'll probably do a little bit of training off screen between this and the next episode to uh, level up a good old uh, uh, Paula Dean and all that. We'll just have to wait and see. Trainer tips. Contact Profoc via PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. I don't want to get my Pokedex evaluated. I'm not particularly worried about it, to be honest with you. Oh, hey, look, Pokemon. Uh, speaking of, actually, let's go ahead and heal Paula Dean up so we can get some more experience with it. So if we run across a, a, a Pokemon, a wild Pokemon that's a little bit weaker than Paula Dean, or if it's a Metapod, because all they can do is harden, we'll probably use Paula Dean to go ahead and beat the entire thing. That way he gets all the experience points. And we are, we are liable to run into at least one or two more wild Pokemon throughout this. Uh, oops, went the wrong way. Oh, speak of the devil. There we go, and we're back. Ah! That, can I? Okay, Chase, that was... Ah! <laughs> oh, it's a Metapod. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to this one, to be honest with you. Uh, cause, because I've been trying to say something for the past two and a half minutes, but I keep getting in random fights. Uh, something that's gonna make this a lot better is whenever I get to, uh buy some repels. Uh, which you can't actually get until you get to Peter City, I believe. And uh, they're going to make things a lot easier. Like, I know I'm going to use them on Mount Moon and all that. Although they may end up causing me to grind a little bit off screen. However, whenever I do that, whenever I grind off screen, I'm going to try and record it. That way I can give a little highlights about, you know, who grew what level, who learned what move and all that. So I'll still, you'll still see everything that happens. And I'll try, I'll look up the levels that these Pokemon have all about so that we, we can make sure to do that on episode and not, uh, Come on, this is going to take forever. And not, uh, off-screen while grinding. Alright, I'm probably going to go ahead and... Oh, wait. Wait. Wait for it. He's still hardening, but we've gotten him pretty done. Come on, Paula Dean. Kick his butt. There we go. Good job, Paula Dean. I knew I got you from... Oh, hey, look. You get a level set. I'm going to make a level... I'm going to make a... What? <gasps> Paula Dean is evolving. <laughs> oh, Paula Dean is evolving into what? Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that? I wish you could rename him to Gordon Ramsay now. Paula D. Learnhardt. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why do I find that so entertaining? Oh, and geez, right into a freaking trainer battle right after that. I'm gonna be the best that there ever was. Forget all the rest. Yeah, that's my cause. I know I messed that up, and I feel ashamed for it. Won't let us never speak of this again. Bugcatcher wants to fight. All right, fine, Bugcatcher. Let's fight. Go, Paula Dean. See, now this is why, I, I think I mentioned in the last episode, this is why I try to uh, raise Butterfreeze up from Caterpie instead of just catching uh, a wild Metapod. Because this way, Metapod actually had nose tackle, so it can actually fight for itself instead of just sitting there hardening until it dies. So, Paula Dean is going to be able to tackle the crap out of this. Ooh. Even though it's not doing much damage yet. Uh, good old Caterpie there, his Caterpie. Also, I just realized there's a lot of green on this screen right now. <laughs> Weird. Not really. Uh, oh, I don't have any PP. No, Paula Dean is out of PP. We'll drink some water, Paula Dean. <laughs> All right, we'll switch to a potato, because I want to get potato up to a bit of a higher level. If I remember right, it's been years since I, since I had my, my Pokedex book and looked at it regularly. But if I remember right, I believe potato here will, will uh, evolve at level 16. I think. I think. So we're going to try and... Uh, Actually, I think, uh, well, I mean, Pikachu doesn't, because Pikachu only evolves by Thunderstone. See, I do know a little bit. I think normally if you have any of the three original starters, uh, Charmander, uh, 
blah, 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 Squirtle or Bubble Zord, they evolved at level 16 too as well, I think. I could be wrong about, about Potato here. I don't honestly remember. Potato gained some experience points. Yeah. Uh, switch Metapod. Yeah, we'll switch back to... Well, wait, we can't because he doesn't have any PP. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll, uh, we'll stay with Potato here. Yay, and they harden. Whatever. You know, these buff trainers are kind of crappy when you think about it because obviously all of their Metapods only know harden, which means they caught them wild. So they haven't actually trained any of their Caterpies, even though they have a bajillion and a half of them. Caterpie. They haven't trained any of them up to be a Metapod. These bug trainers kind of suck. As bug trainers, not just as Pokemon trainers. Bug catchers, excuse me. I've been saying that wrong the entire time, haven't I? Come on. Ah, this is going to take forever. And I'm too stubborn to just, like, switch to a Pokemon that does more damage or anything like that, because I want Potato here to get all the experience. You know what? I'm going to cut until this here Metapod dies. That, that Metapod just used Tackle. See, right after I go off about- Oh my god, he does, he's gonna kill- Oh, Potato! Get him, Potato! Wow! A clutch, epic clutch. Potato got a lot of experience by that, too. Nice! I have a level 10 Potato- I have a level 10 Potato. That is the best sentence I've ever said. <laughs> Jeez, Potato, way to hang on there in the end. Let's, uh, let's get a potion and heal you on up there. Well done, Potato. Well done. Uh, I'm not actually going to use another one just because we're right at the end of Verdian Forest and, well, we're near the end of Verdian Forest. Yay, Twitch grew to level 9. Woohoo! Uh, but yeah, we're near the end of Verdian Forest, I'm not going to worry about <laughs> I cannot wait until I get some repels. Repels are going to make this a lot easier. I'm not going to have to do quite as much editing on these. But right now, I'm having to cut out most of these epic, uh, most of these random battles here. Kind of annoying. But hey, on the bright side, at least all my po <sighs> Really? On the bright side, all my Pokemon are getting a decent amount of experience from all this, so... At least we may not have to do as much grinding off-screen as, as I thought. I really don't know how much grinding off-screen I'm gonna have to do. I don't do much grinding in Pokemon games, usually. No stealing of Pokemon from other trainers. Yeah, we know. We're not Team Rockets. Blasting off again. Um, I don't typically have to do much grinding in Pokemon games, but, you know, being an LP, and I'm not gonna wanna have all these random fight or all the, uh these other random fights on on screen all the time, so we'll just have to kind of see what happens. Since we're going to be using Repel so much, that's what I was looking forward to a while ago. <laughs> I kind of mumbled and drilled off there somewhere. Bugcatcher wants to fight. Wonderful. Oh, look at that. It's Caterpie. What is... Ooh, it's a level 10 Caterpie, though. Shouldn't you be a Butterfree by now? Oh, yeah, you're holding back a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, you're holding back just a little too much there. And really, I don't know. I guess I understand the benefit of holding back the evolutions. I know they learn different moves and all that. Uh, but, you know, really, just let it evolve if you're playing casually. Especially because, you know, you're an in-game AI and you don't actually exist. Just let it evolve. Or maybe they just don't want to show us the uh, Butterfree. That way it's motivation for us to raise our own. That would actually kind of make a little bit of sense. Hey, look at that! We paralyzed Caterpie. It is now Caterpie Par. Caterpie Par. And now it's dead, Caterpie. We squished it. Aw, oh, that was kind of... Kind of mean. I feel bad for saying that. Paula Dean grew to level 8! Paula Dean is only, I think, two levels away from evolving. That's very cool. Very, very, very cool. We'll probably end up evolving it off-screen, to be honest with you. We'll see. We shall see! With that, I think we actually finally... Yes! We made it out of uh, Viridian Force without having to get into another random fight. Awesome. What do you have to say, old man? Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. You're very informative, although you probably shouldn't spout random information to strangers you just met. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Good, yay. Good to know. Hey, look at that, Pikachu. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned uh, the, uh, like, very quick happiness. Uh, cheat, where you basically, uh, give a Pokemon, uh, Pikachu who's at full health a potion and it makes him really happy and you can max out his happiness like that. I'm not particularly worried about it, to be honest with you. If I ever have a need to do it, then I'll do it, but otherwise I'm not particularly worried. Welcome to the Pokemon Center, yeah, yeah. So let's heal our Pokemon up and then we have, uh, one or two things left to do in this episode before we call it. Just kind of fill out the time a little bit. If 
first off is to go back down to that first patch of grass we saw when we entered, uh, or when we exited Viridian Forest, and try and catch this Anita Ran. Now, I know I said I'm going to try and do it with Butterfree and, and the group I have here now, and that's true, I'm going to try at least once or twice with it, but if it doesn't work, I'm not going to keep, keep, keep trying forever and ever and ever, so let's, uh, let's try and catch, see if we can find us Anita Ran real quick, and catch it, just to show, you know, this is where it is, here we go, oh, speak of the devil, that was quick. Wild Need around appeared. It's level four, so we'll be able to get this knocked out pretty quickly. And we actually can use Paladin for it as well. Uh, like I said, just kind of go over it. The easiest way to beat Brock in Pokemon Yellow, since it's obviously one of the harder fights you're, you'll have, since you go into it without very many Pokemon who are strong against Rock, uh, that you can get in the first half of the, or first part of the game. Nidoran is apparently the easiest way to do it. I don't know if Rock is actually weak to poison, to be honest with you, but apparently it's easier to beat it with a poison type. Again, I'm going off of what I was told off screen, so I haven't actually done this research myself. If it's not true, I apologize, but it was from a fairly reliable Pokemon source, I'll put it like that. Fairly reliable, though. Not 100%. Nothing's ever 100%. So let's knock it down just a little bit much, a little bit more, and we'll be able to start throwing our Pokemon. Ah, we can probably get one more tackle in on that, as long as it's not a critical hit. Paula Dean, do not get a critical hit. Also, do not miss entirely. That would also be a pretty good idea. Wow, Paula Dean, you know I'm a little disappointed in you right now. There we go. I try, I always try and get him in a red, but you gotta be careful, because if you end up knocking it out, then it can kind of bite you in the butt there. No, don't, there we go. Use Pokeball, we still have nine Pokeballs, so we're doing pretty good with those, I'm not particularly worried about it. We may pick up a few more, depending on how much money. Whoa, Nidoran! It was so close, I hate it when they do that. I hate ones that pop out on the third one, that bothers crap out of me. Also, while I'm speaking of it, does anybody else have this weird habit of holding down A when they throw a Pokeball or attack or anything like that? Or even better yet, when you get hit with something, you hold down B? It does literally nothing, but am I the only person that has that habit? I feel like it helps, even though I know for a fact it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, so we caught her Nidoran. Let's see what it does. A, wi a, mi a wild mannered, a mild mannered Pokemon that does not like to fight. Beware, it's my horn secret to Venom. Do you want to give a nickname to it? Yeah, I guess so. Uh... What should we name Nidoran? We're not ever going to use it, I just want to catch it to kind of show it off. Burp, 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 burp. Uh... Ooh, I know. Uh, for those of you that watch my Skyrim LP, let's name him after... I guess... I guess Nidoran kind of looks a little orky, doesn't he? It doesn't matter. We're going to name him Gorak. Just because. Gorak the Nidor Nidoran, and we're actually... Probably gonna go ahead. Actually, you know what? We'll keep him. We're not even gonna level him or anything, but we'll actually keep him. And who knows? Maybe it'll come through in the end and, and help us beat Brock there. All right. So one other thing to do uh, here in Peter City, just kind of knock it off, or really a few things. First off, let's go talk to this dude. Psst. Do you know what I'm doing? Not a clue. I'm spraying Repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. You know, Pokemon aren't gonna get in your garden. Because there's no tall grass here. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll leave you alone. After that, there's really not much else to do in Pewter, like I said. Uh, you can come over here, and this is the exit, obviously, but if you try and leave... You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me! And it literally forces us to follow him, but we get really cool music, so... Oh, it's over now. Sad. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. We'll we'll get to that. And he walks off screen and into nothingness! How did he get by? He was a magician. He was a magician all along. Alright. So that's Jim. We're going to be handling that in the next episode. The only thing left to show off is this up here. Well, it, it, don't read the sign. There we go. Pewter Museum of Science. Now you can walk in here and uh, it charge you uh, 50, 50 money, whatever the Pokemon currency is, to walk around and look at little model ships and fossils and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. We're not going to do that on screen because there's not much of a point to it right now. Uh, there will be more things to do there later on. What do you have to say? Did you check out the music? Uh, technically, yes. Weren't those fossils from Mount Moon amazing? Yes, Mount Moon is where we're going to be heading later on in the future of this LP, so we're not going to be worried about it too much. Uh, we're actually probably going to call an episode there. Hopefully this is kind of a longer one. I know we had a lot of fights to cut out, but we'll, we'll see in editing. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, like, leave a comment, tell me what I did right, what I did wrong. Subscribe if you want to see more, and please share all with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in Pokemon Yellow. Goodbye for now. Oh, Paula Dean is evolving into what?
Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that? I wish you could rename him to Gordon Ramsay now. Paula D. Learnhorn. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why do I find that so entertaining? Oh, geez, right into a free.